My sample photo gallery was constructed using Adobe InDesign. My extracted PDF, displayed here in full screen mode, contains some interactive features, like our reusable space panel, complete with a reflection effect. My navigation arrows will pop me to the next page. From the same InDesign layout, I exported an animated Swift file while maintaining the other interactive features. This looks like a lot of work. I'll show you how to let the InDesign data merge feature do the heavy lifting. To use data merge, we need to start with a file containing all of the image names in our working folder. You'll never find a faster way to do this on the Macintosh. I just selected, shift selected, all of the files inside my working folder. Now I'm going to move over to my text editor and find the, the option in the edit menu to paste and match style. And we're basically done. I'm going to take this guy and select it, copy once again. We're going to finish our data merge build inside InDesign itself. I'm going to paste that file inside. All of our image names are there. To create a data merge file now, we need to precede each one of those image names with the exact path to the image folder. The easiest way is just to place one of those images on the clipboard, move over to the links panel. In the lower section, you can right click and copy path platform style path. When I paste it inside a text frame, I'm just going to delete the actual image name and end with the links and colon. I'll copy and let's just go into find and change. Paste that in the change to section Precede that whole term with a caret p, the hard return, caret p in the find what section. Click once and you'll see that the whole path now precedes my image name. Find the next one. Make sure that we're on the right track. Now we can change all and we're almost done building our data merge file. The only thing left is to add a header line. Because this is a graphic, we're going to start that header with an at sign. Here I'm going to say graphics, but you can choose any name that you like. We're going to export this as a text-only file. Name it the way you like. Put it somewhere you can find it. And we're ready to do data merge. Now we're going to create a merged text document. If I go to the window menu, we'll find Utilities, Data Merge. In CS4, that's from the automation panel. From the flyout menu, I'm going to find my data source, the one that we've created, and click Open. I'm going to select that data field, also selected that frame that we've already created, and you can see now that it's tagged as a graphic. If I go to the flyout menu, we'll find Create Merged Text Document. I'm only going to use the first 15. Select Multiple Records. Go to the next panel and see that we've got the default for our margins. I'm going to select Fit Frames to Images. Images to Frames. 
with one click, those first 15 are now paginated for me. We can go back to that original template and make some changes and then what we call respray. I'm going to duplicate that same image. Let's invert it for that shadow effect. I'll change the opacity from the flyout menu and the effects. I'm going to choose directional feather and click OK. To export once again, we'll go to the Data Merge panel, Create Merge Document. And let's make a couple of changes here. We'll still use those first 15. Let's change the right-hand margin to 12 picas. And the space in between will change to 2 picas each location and click OK. We're ready. As you can see, if we activate our background, we've got our shadow effect. And let's do one more thing. Let's animate this at the same time. So we'll choose for the top graphic, fly in from left, fly in from the right, repeat that same process, create merge document, multiple layouts, click again, completely done. Let's activate that background layer. Now let's export this as a Swift file. This is all in, done in real time just to show you how quickly you can create these interactive documents from Data Merge. We'll click Save, just the default for our Swift file. Wait just a moment. If we only create a PDF version, the functionality that we've shown is exactly the same in CS4 and in CS5. So these interactive documents can quick, be quickly built using data merge. This should give you enough to experiment with. Soon, I'll show you how to create those stationary pop-out images using my special data merge techniques.